Hi, in this video we will learn about a new operation on vectors. It's called dot product. Um, when you have two vectors, you dot product them, you get a number. And the definition, let me just start with the definition, goes like this. Definition. Uh, for any two vectors, you, well, let's just take vectors in R2 and V, the dot product of U and V is denoted by u dot v and it is given so we have the definition what you do so you need we need to use the components of u and v to get a number well the way the dot product works is this you multiply the first component of u to the first component of v and then multiply the second component of u that the second component of v and add that is the dot product this is a number and uh, while well, similarly one can do it for similarly for vectors uh, in r3 so if our vectors have three components u1 u2 u3 and v v1 v2 and v3 we have the dot product of uv is defined by again the first component to first component of v first com second component of u to the second component of v and the third component to third component and add them that defines or gives you the dot product of u v before we start uh, talking about the properties let's just do some examples examples of dot product for example one zero dot two two three the second one is one three negative two dot one negative two and and the third one is well we can also have the other form 2i minus j dot 2k minus plus j and dot product those two let's just do these ones as the definition the recipe basically says first component to first component uh, 1 times 2 and then second component to the second component so it will be oh, 0 times 3 and then add them. this gives us 2 plus 0 which adds up to 2 for the vector with three components you have to multiply the corresponding components and then add them again here would be 1 times 1 3 times negative 2 and negative 2 times 1 and then add them here what we get is 1 minus 6 minus 2 together it gives me negative 7 well the, for the third example the uh, the vectors are given in ijk notation so first we can turn them to vectors the the triple form so two the coefficient of i is the first component coefficient of j is the second component there is no k that means that the coefficient of k is zero dot two k uh, so the the third coefficient the third component is two j is one the first component is zero now 
first one to first one two times zero second one to second one negative one times one and the third one to the third one so zero times two then add them this way you get zero minus one plus zero which gives us negative one again one important thing other than the recipe that you need to keep in mind that the dot product of two vectors is not a vector it is a number okay so let's just continue this with the properties of dot product uh first thing uh, to see is that well if i dot product two vectors basically i'm dotting multiplying u1 to v1 and then adding it to u2 times v2 you see these are the numbers yes and we can switch the order of these ones so i can write v1 times u1 plus v2 times u2 yes and this is the same thing as if i switch the order of the uh, vectors in the dot product and that says that the dot, in dot product while trying to find the dot product the order of the vectors doesn't matter you can switch the orders the second thing is that dot product works nicely with the uh, vector addition meaning that it distributes over vector addition u dot v plus u dot w and well that's it that's the distributive property also it has good relation with the um uh, with the scalar multiplication so if you multiply a number to u dot v this is a num this is a number scalar this is another number this would be the same thing as you first multiply scalar multiply c to u get a vector and then multiply it to v or you can take this guy to the other side and multiply it to v and then then uh, get a vector and then dot product to you uh, also something which is obvious to see if you have zero vector u dot is to any vector remember that the components of the zero vector are zero so every component of u is going to be multiplied by zero component so they will be zero and then add them you get the number zero the fifth property, which is very important, and I like to uh, kind of highlight it in a different way, that, uh, well, if you dot product a vector to itself, let's just do it for a two-dimensional vector. So u1, u2, dot u1, u2. Why well, you will get the first component to first component. So u1 times u1 is u1 squared. Then this is the other one is that u2 times u2. This is u2 squared. Uh, I believe that we you have to remember this. We have seen this first component squared plus second component squared. If you find the square root of that guy, that is exactly the, the length. But here, since I put the square root, I have to score it to get rid of that. And that means that we, the dot product of the vector by itself, which is a number, is the same thing as the length of that vector squared. So let me just put a box around this guy. Uh, well, other than that, the only thing you need to know here at this stage uh, is that the definition and just basics of how to apply and find the product of two vectors.